Kaku here, bringing you another Zulok guide. Today, it's going to be Zulok versus Priest. Most often, it's going to be a Control Priest. Priests usually run Control. That's really the only style a Priest can run. What I'm going to try to do is get this Priest down as quickly as possible. The starting hand is kind of crap, honestly. I got no initial pushes. Hopefully I draw one cost in the next my first draw. If not, this game's gonna be kind of a game of catch up. Against this kind of priest, he has Holy Nova to remove my minions. He can play the um, Shadow Priest little minion that changes his heals to damage. Do two damage each turn to a minion or my hero. Playing control priest versus Zulok. Zulok has the disadvantage, but if you rush the hero with enough damage, he's going to have to focus on healing up versus dealing damage and removing minions because his heals will hit, will hit for more than minion removal most of the time. Okay, I did not get no one first turn. So he may think I'm handlocked though, which won't really matter because when I play my knife juggler, he'll realize, oh, he's not handlock. Knife juggler first turn is not a bad idea against a priest. I don't think he has any removals. He has Holy Nova. Won't be till turn 3. And if Holy Nova is a knife juggler alone, I'll honestly be happy for that because that'd be no big deal whatsoever. Alright, so here I'm going to play my Indian boss and hope to get a knife proc on the loot hoarder. Did not get it. Alright. He's going to trade into my knife juggler next turn. He's going to get a card draw, and that's going to be a beneficial trade for him. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, there's really no reason not to, why he would not do that. So, the knife juggler early was kind of a downfall for me, because I didn't get a full benefit from him. But if I play the egg, along with my sergeant, I'll remove this minion, prevent him from getting two card draws, only one card draw. I won't take one damage, no problem with that trade. That was a good trade. Next turn I can play Argus, between my egg and my M. Be careful playing Zulok with your positioning, because if this egg was next to my, next to something else, may not be as good. This ain't really bad. Um, he's going to get rid of my M. And my sergeant, but I get another imp. He does this again. I get another imp and a 4-4 minion. Not a really good idea for him. That was honestly not a good idea really at all for him. Cause now I can trade into him with this. Trade with this. Trade with that. And then here, I can either Argus, the imp, and my game balls and guaranteed at least one more imp which will keep board pressure which I will do that so now I got a 2-2 and a 3-2 versus a 2-2 and a 4-2 2-2 and 4-2 would be good but if he has a minion that's going to attack they're going to attack a taunt target alright that that was counting, but I still got one minute, one in, so it worked out fine. No big deal. I'm going to life tap here. Hopefully, get perfect. A demon. So then the void caller has a use when I play him. So right now, this priest has no board pressure, no board presence whatsoever. That was a good play on his part. He's going to be able to not kill my Voidwalker this turn, but get him pretty low. Which, uh, which I really don't mind that play, honestly, because if I just implode on the Acolyte, I get a... Well, um, yeah, I'm going to implode the Acolyte, trade into the Pyromancer, and then get a free Doom Guard. I'm gonna like that. Just get in the card. Since I have 
decent. Oh, I should have saved implosion for my knife juggler. There's been so much more value out of that, but no big deal. I got four imps, so he's gonna have to hold a nova to get to clear off my board. Next turn, I will have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Oh, nope, not now. So I got five damage now, or nine damage. Alright, well, that minion could potentially be a threat. So, if I, I'm gonna power overwhelming the imp, remove that minion. He could have waited a turn to be removed. Oh, I could just, I should have silenced him. That was a mistake. Should have silenced that minion versus removing him. I was not thinking that the, my fault. Not a bad play. We got control over this game. It's going well. It's going in my favor. So the priest is going to play catch up. He's going to have some heal cards. He's not going to go hard for damage this turn. And if he does, it's going to be with Holy Nova. That would be good. A heal and an AoE removal. Is someone injured? We can still play it. Okay, that means it sounds. That was a. That's a better card to silence than the big quarter. He's going to get silenced, and then we're going to train him with an imp, I believe. And I'm going to use Bane of Doom to get rid of that minion. Getting down to 2 health, and shorten my board out a little bit. Just so if I use Implosion, I can get full benefit from it. Yeah. Draxus is good, but when he's from a Bane of Doom, not as good. He's kind of just a sticky minion, really all he serves as. Three attacks, not that great. Depending on what he does, next turn we're going to have lethal. Alright, Thar Sims is not going to prevent us from having lethal. That two health field though did. We've got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's light tap see if we can get power of one maybe, and we did not. So I don't know what he plans on playing next turn. We're, we are not going to implode, but we are going to put this on Jaraxxus. Oh, golden legendary. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, Tharson's not a huge threat right now, he's not going to get the extra, um, he's not going to get the extra card reduction proc until later, and right now he's not, he can play his whole hand, honestly, and if he hasn't played it all game, it's not going to be a huge help for him, because he's going to have to remove a lot of minions, Draxus being the biggest one, even a silence in Draxus won't do a lot. I've got 13 damage now. Oh, it's game over. GG, Nalganus. Nalganus increased all demons attack by 2 and health by 2. So, made all my ends. Void Caller, Draxus. That one's stronger. So, that was an example of Zulok versus a Control Priest deck. Main thing is you want to just focus on making sure you have Void Control. Really with against most decks. Um, focus on board control. If you have top minions up, you can ignore some of their minions. Like if they have one minion up, you have three, but one taunt, you can most time just go face because that one minion's gonna have to attack your taunt next turn anyways. So it's better just to get a few extra damage to their face, which could be the difference between a win and a loss. As you've seen there, at the end, I had their hero down to one health. If I would have had one more face attack with my void caller onto their hero, it would have been a game over earlier, which prevented the possibility of me losing. I didn't lose, we got lucky. But, that was that. I'm going to show my deck list right here, so if you're interested in copying this, there may have been some changes made since my initial video. Um, I'm not sure if I had Bane of Doom in it then or not, but Bane of Doom is a good card. Um, summon the random demon, 
sometimes you get Draxus, sometimes you get um, Illidan, or Malganus, and those are three great cards to get, Draxus being the least of them all, but they're all great cards, especially having a deck, if you have two Malganuses in one match, oh man, that's a rough combo there. But I want to thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like it, um, comment for any future videos. I'm thinking about doing an aggro paladin or a control priest deck possibly. So leave a comment if you want to see either of those and subscribe. Thank you for watching.